What's going on, y'all? Um, so I've been getting a lot of requests on making my cream salmon, um, which I'm gonna make with mashed potatoes. So I'm very excited for that. Um, let's get to it. We're gonna cut up these potatoes real quick and throw them in the water. Alright, let's throw these in the water. You wanna make sure the water is boiling hot and you put some salt in it, so I'm gonna throw the potatoes in. Now we're gonna let it boil until it's completely soft. Alright, so now we're gonna cut up the onions, the peppers, and some mushrooms. So let's start with the onions first. Cut up the peppers. I mean, the reason why I'm using um, different colored peppers, like the yellow peppers and the green peppers, is because I just love color in my food, as it's like it's really appealing to the eye. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm using. Two colors today along with the tomatoes and the mushrooms. We we'll cut some tomatoes. I'll probably just use half a tomato. It's fine. We're gonna dice the tomatoes though, we're not gonna slice it. The tomato is more so to add that color. Um, on the cream sauce, so that's why I use it on uh, flavor as well. Alright, and some mushrooms we're gonna use. Let's just wash these real quick. Okay, now that they're washed, we could cut them up. gonna use some garlic but I usually make my homemade garlic uh, so I basically just get a bunch of garlic and I blend it up I don't know if y'all can see there yeah but I usually blend it up with some olive oil some lime some salt and black pepper so yeah we're gonna use this and the um, cream salmon y'all can just use regular garlic too like y'all ain't gotta make your own um, paste or anything but it's just so convenient because you know, gotta keep peeling. Like, ain't nobody like peeling garlic, you know? So you wanna go, um, just go in the, in the tub here and just scoop your garlic up and throw it in the pan. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna season up the salmon. You know I love my olive oil, so we're gonna use some olive oil for that. Just on top. All right, awesome. You know, just give it a little rub. You know, and be a little gentle. All right. Um, I'm just gonna season it with some salt, some black pepper, uh, some red crushed peppers, and some garlic, as well as some whole base seasoning. So let's go with the salt. Some black pepper. Okay. Obey. Have the salmon nice and seasoned. Some red crushed peppers just for a little, you know, spice. And some garlic. Can't forget the garlic. Just wanna put some there. Put some there. 
And I'm gonna just bring that apart, and now we're gonna just massage the salmon on top with all the seasonings and garlic and olive oil, cause this gonna be looking nice and seasoning. Seasons. You wanna get the sides too? You know, get the sides. All right. Okay, now we got the salmon all seasoned up, so we're gonna sear these and the griddle. So we're not gonna cook, we're not gonna um, cook it completely through on the griddle. We're just gonna sear it, all right? And then we're gonna transfer it to the pan, pan to um, cook it in our cream sauce and with the herbs. I'm just gonna put some olive oil in here so we can sear the salmon. We're gonna let this get nice and hot. All right, so now we're gonna sear the salmon. We're gonna do it on both sides. Put some of that oil on the side. Alright, let's start turning it over. Now we're just gonna rest the salmon aside. We're just gonna take it out. Okay, now we're gonna start the cream salmon. Uh, we're gonna add some butter in here. But, you know. And then add some garlic, some of the homemade one. Stir that around with the butter. Now you want to add the herbs. Fry them down. Okay, now we got the herbs all fried down. So now, Now we're gonna create some space in the middle to just rest the salmons in. Okay. Get this bad boy in. One, two. Okay. So, now we're gonna reduce the heat a bit as again and now this is where we add some cream we're gonna add some cream here okay just go around the perimeter of the of the pan about twice yeah now we're gonna add a little cream cheese in there oops a little splash just add the cream cheese wherever and then now you want to add a bit of paprika, 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 paprika. So you got a bit of that. Just a bit of paprika around. All right. Cool. Now we're going to just add some black pepper. We don't really season the veggies like that yet. So you can add some black pepper in there. A bit of salt. Some red crushed peppers and a bit of allspice, whole allspice. You don't want to put too much because then like every couple seconds, you don't like just keep picking them out. You know, like when people just put them in chicken sauce, they just overdo it. Just put a little, like about a little four to seven little allspice balls in there. All right. So now what we're gonna do, um, the cream cheese will the cream cheese will have to melt eventually, so we're just gonna cover this for a bit and let it cook on low. So while the cream salmon is cooking and the potatoes, I figured 
Hey, why not? And to say hi to y'all, smoke buddy. He loves cooking with me too. I should get him a little um, apron as well. What do you think? What y'all think? I should get him an apron. He could wear it like right up in there. Yeah. Where she could be having some of this food, honestly. But you know what? Sometimes, um, I'm uh, whatever I make, and if there's gravy, I mix it. Uh, I mix it with his food, so he don't feel left out. So I usually will do that. But anyway, back to the food. All right. Now let's see how this is doing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oops. Yeah. All right, let's zoom in a bit in there. Mm, mm, mm. What I love about making cream salmon is that the, the, um, the broth is actually cooking the salmon. So it comes out so tender that it's ridiculous. Like literally I'll just touch here and I'll break off. I'm gonna just spread around all this, all the herbs and the cream cheese, make sure everything all mixed up there. Like actually, you know what? I, I really want to try this. Let's try this. Mm. Now that is good. Okay, now that it's almost done, you wanna squeeze some lime in here. Y'all wanna know a funny thing? Um, so, <laughs> growing up, I always thought that this was lemon and the yellow one was lime. But I recently found out, probably about two years ago, <laughs> um, the difference. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Alright, so now this is done. Basically, after you squeeze some lime, that's like the final touch, some lime, because it's salmon. So you want, you still want to have a little hint of lime somewhere in there since it's fresh, you know? Okay, so I drained out the mashed potatoes, so let's get this mashing. This mashed up with a wooden spoon, that's what I usually use. Now you want to add in some cream. Put a cream. I like my mashed potatoes creamy. I know about y'all, but I'ma put some cream and butter in my mash. Some butter for the seasonings. We're gonna add some salt and some paprika again. Get a, to give it some little color. That's why I add the paprika. Just a little bit of black pepper. All right, let's start presenting. All right, we're gonna start with the mashed potato first. You can do like a spoon or even down the center of the plate. Grab this piece of salmon. We're gonna layer it on top. Just like that. Put some of the herbs around or on top. Put it. How that looking so far? Decent? Decent? Cool? Yeah? Alright. Uh, now, what I'm going to garnish this with is with some panko and some chives actually. So, I'm going to put some panko on top. To make it look a little crusted. And some chives. Why not? Put some chives on top. Woo -wee. Well, I cannot wait to eat. And to finish off, you have to get the edges. Make sure around the food it's clean. Ain't nothing around there. Alright. Wow, this actually looks delicious. Uh, let me just put some panko on, on top of the mashed potato. Why not? Right here. Sprinkle some there. Sprinkle some here. All right, and y'all tell me how, what y'all think about it, and if y'all like the presentation. Look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look how delicious that looks. I really hope y'all enjoy watching this video. Um, if y'all have any suggestions on what I should cook or anything. Please feel free to just comment below um, and thank you all so much for watching this video. Also like and subscribe again and I'll see you all next week. Have a good one.